Somehow we've come to believe that greatness is a gift reserved for a chosen few. For prodigies. For superstars. And the rest of us can only stand by watching. Greatness is not some rare DNA strand. It's not some precious thing. Greatness is no more unique to us than breathing. We're all capable of it. No matter what happens, keep moving forward. You're going to have ups and downs in life. Things are going to go wrong. And you feel like you don't want to do it anymore. And those days go on and on and on. Things are going to go wrong. And what you need to do is to keep moving forward. I became obsessed. I became obsessed with being the baddest motherfucker that God ever created. Am I that? I don't care. I believe it. And I was trying to tell him, once you become obsessed with something, obsessed, it's okay to be unbalanced for a while. It's okay. Don't be all this stuff people say. You got to be balanced. To be the best in the world at what you do, you have to be unbalanced to find every bit of energy and strength that you have to pull it off. People need to know you for one major thing first. He works. He produces. The guy's there every day. The guy's pushing and shoving. Because the truth is, no matter how good your ideas are, how good your art is, or how good your skill set is, if you're not working, man, if you're not vibrating at a frequency that people say, my God, how does that guy do all that? 10x levels, massive action, tremendous work ethic that's just a muscle now, and it's, it's just a discipline in your life, and it's a normal way. You're not going to get in that top 10%. You know, sometimes... You get that feeling in life that things aren't going my way. Listen, things just don't go your way. That's not the way the world works. You got to make them go your way. You think things are going to just happen for you? Well, they're not just going to happen for you. You got to make them happen. Go make things happen. We do not retreat. We do not give up. We do not surrender. And the reason why most of you are not successful is because every single time stuff's not going your way, you give up, you quit, you let go, and people feel weakness. They feel it. But if you want it, you got to go get it. You got to play hard for it. Yep, it's difficult. Yep, why? Because the process is weeding out the weak. Any goal that you want to achieve that's worthwhile in your life require all-in effort. Every moment, every minute, every hour, every day, every week, for as long as it f***ing takes for you to get where you're going, you should be consumed with that path. And when that thing tells you to quit, you look at it in his eye and say, I ain't going nowhere. I will break you before you break me. You will not defeat me. You will not destroy me. Some of you are so ignorant. You've been through so much hell. You won't quit now. You should have quit 10 years ago. You don't quit now. It's the 10th round. Everything you're going through is preparing you for what you ask God for. You just got to quit tripping while you're in the process because the process is necessary. You may not see it now, but when he gets you on the other side of it, you're going to see exactly why it went that way. And you're going to be okay with it. If you think you're as good as you can be, you're right. You won't get any better. If you think you have room to grow, you do and you will. If you think you're as good as you can be, you're right, and you won't get any better. Because sometimes we don't understand, like, what is this thing? What is my purpose? Why am I here? You don't have to feel good about it. You just have to keep going. The feeling will pass, but you will remain. You are greater than your feelings. Going to bed late and waking up early to work for a few days won't kill you. You're not going to burn out. You're doing what it takes. The only thing that you can do is win so big that all of them constantly compare themselves to you and then you'll forget they exist. Success is the only revenge. When you wake up in the morning, you have a choice. You have a choice to get the f up. And if you get the f up, you got one W under your belt. Now, if you eat that meal you're supposed to eat, now you got two. If you're supposed to, if you go do that workout, now you got three. If you're used to stacking 
expecting wins like I do every day, mm -hmm. you build that self-talk because every time that win takes place, you're like, I fucking do this shit. I can do it. It ain't shit. I always do it. I'm trying to get to where I'm going and ain't nobody going to stop me. Right? Whatever going on, the talking and the captions or whatever the mean, it can't stop me because it's a vision that I have and it's goals that I have that I set out for myself that I got to get there no matter what. Whatever you want to do in life, find something that you don't mind doing for the rest of your life. Find something that you like. And even if it seems like it's impossible, it's very, very possible. So don't get nervous. If you have a big goal, just chip away at it until you get to where you need to be. Heroes and villains always have the same backstory, though, pain. The difference is what they choose to do about it. Villain says, the world hurt me, I'll hurt it back. The hero says, the world hurt me, I'm not going to let it hurt anybody else. Heroes use pain, villains are used by it. And that's why I think that most things are actually significantly easier than people think they are. They just don't know how to try hard. Because the harder that you try, the easier it gets. And so it's like, if you can just learn to love what trying hard feels like, then all of a sudden it becomes unreasonable that you can't win. What do you want to be in life? And once you do that, now you can work with somebody to get better. You can work with yourself to get better. But until you know what you want to stand for, you will always just be sitting down. You'll never stand for anything. If you're not getting hated on, you ain't doing shit right. You need people talking about you. You need people saying, <laughs> I don't like that person. Because in turn, they really want to be you. I was happy uh, being alone with myself and being with me. Instead of just being caught up in the chaos of me. Your mind is designed to help you get what you want. You just have to be willing to believe it's possible. Everybody's gonna go through these kind of obstacles, things that make you wanna turn back, things that make you wanna quit. God's not trying to make you quit. God's trying to make you overcome an obstacle. Discipline, discipline. Really understanding the word of discipline and sticking to it. If you really understand that, you'll be fine. Most of these guys don't have discipline. They feel like they do enough. They'll make excuses, set a goal, be disciplined to that goal. People need to understand that nobody in life is flawless. Nobody is perfect. You know, perfection is, is something that really exists when you're talking about individuals. It's impossible. You can try to be as perfect as you want, but ultimately you're going to come across mistakes. Right. You're going Absolutely. to come across flaws. And I think the real perfection is in is in perfecting your imperfections. That's how you get to a place where you can ultimately be happy with who you are. Sometimes you're right, sometimes you're wrong, at least you're being yourself. We all do mistakes. We learn from the mistakes, but we will still do mistakes. And being perfect, what is being perfect? You build up something that doesn't exist. For me, perfection is being yourself. And I am being myself. People like it or not, I don't care as long as I'm being myself. You have to, you have to take a path that's dangerous. And most people want to take the safe path. And the safe path leaves you stuck in quiet desperation almost every time. It's hell. You know, we're, we're, we're all writing a book. What's your book look like? What does your fucking book look like? Like, your, your life is a book. You got a bunch of chapters in your book, but when they close that book, how good was the book? How good was your book? What was the ending to your book? You're the kind of person who deserves a good life and works their ass off and genuinely wants it and tries very hard. Guess what you get 99% of the time? A good life. And you're the kind of person who doesn't really deserve it, slaps three days a week, a little bit lazy, snakes his friends, talks behind people back, blah, blah, blah. Guess what? Your life ain't all that good. You have to realize, you have to know, you have to accept that all your excuses are lies. They are lies, all of them. Think about the things that you tell yourself, the lies you use to rationalize taking the easy road. Taking the easy road and leaving discipline behind. Think about them. The thing that has worked for me is to remember the hard times. So anything big that would happen, I would always take a moment 
And I just remind myself, I was evicted when I was 14. We were kicked off the island. We couldn't live in Hawaii. I had no place to live. I would remember that. And it allows me then to be present in the moment and understand, holy, the, the stuff I have around me right now, this is the sh that I dreamed of when I was a kid. I am here. What helps me is to keep the hard times in the front of my mind. This allows me to go into these big moments that I've worked my ass off, and you guys have worked your ass off. It allows me to go into these big moments with a different perspective. It's easy to give up. It's the easiest thing in the world to do. I am, I'm, I'm done. I ain't going. It doesn't matter how far you might rise. At some point, you are bound to stumble because if you're constantly doing what we do, raising the bar, if you are constantly pushing yourself higher, higher, the law of averages that you will at some point fall. And when you do, I want you to know this, remember this, there is no such thing as failure. Failure is just life trying to move us in another direction. Now, when you're down there in the hole, it looks like failure. And when you're down in the hole, when that moment comes, it's really okay to feel bad for a little while. But then, here's the key. Learn from every mistake. You got to blow your bubble up. Expand yourself. Take yourself out your comfort zone. Do not live in your bubble. Put some more air in your bubble. If you stay in your comfort zone, that's where you will fail. You will fail in your comfort zone. Success is not a comfortable procedure. It is a very uncomfortable thing to attempt. So you got to get comfortable being uncomfortable if you ever want to be successful. You know, there comes a day, man. Everyone's going to have this day. There comes a day where being average, being mediocre is just sickening to you. It's just sickening. It makes you want to throw up because you've seen people with far less talent than you as you're growing up with them their childhood buddies wherever else they didn't have what you had yet now they're fucking to become something that you haven't every experience encounter and particularly your mistakes are there to teach you and force you into being more of who you are You've got to continue to work on yourself personally. You've got to decide to be relentless. You've got to decide never to give up. You've got to find some reasons within yourself that will give you the stamina when life catches you on the blind side to get back up again, to keep on calling and coming back again and again and again. We're in hell right now. We can stay here, get the sh kicked out of us, or we can fight our way back into the light we can climb out of hell one inch at a time there comes a fucking day where push comes to shove where being mediocre being like average and shit just fucking burns and sucks so much you can't deal with it one more day and you get off your fucking ass and you create something that's always been there it's always been inside of you trying to come out but you've never wanted to unwrap it because it's too much fucking pain and commitment pick up the pace you walking too slow pick up the pace you moving too slow pick up the pace if you want to finish sometime you can't just finish you gotta finish fast you don't have as much time as you think you do you master the present you master the present are those 15 minutes that sweet that you're gonna push back your dream that you're gonna push back your goal the dumb shit that i've done or the bad mistakes that i've made they've taught me you know you learn like that's why failure is so important like failing and f***ing up and making mistakes it's very important you, that's how you learn let's see the bad feeling that you get from something that you shouldn't have done or wish you didn't do or wish you did better like especially failing at something where you half-assed it and you just feel like a fucking loser like that just teaches you. So stand up straight. Stand up straight and march forward. Then give someone else some encouragement. Let them see you standing strong. Set an example. And by our very posture, by our very being, we will let the world know that we are here to win. 
I'm obsessed with improvement. Every day I'm getting better. There are those of you with phones, and every new phone that comes out, you get it. Every upgrade, you get it. Every piece of software, you get it. You are upgrading your technology, and you've not upgraded yourself. Live extreme and push your boundaries. Why? Simply because there will be no other time for you to do this. You can dream of these things, but understand you can also achieve them. The moments that take your breath away are the ones that count. I don't care if you've been beaten to the floor, if your legs are too tired to lift that weight. Break through that barrier and create new ones for you. When there's a will, there's a way. When you truly need something, you can find a way, and you stop at nothing to reach it. It's not easy reaching your goal. It's not easy changing your life. It's not easy trying to build a business and people are negative and saying no every day. It takes a lot of guts and people laughing at you and they're doubting you. Well, let me tell you, I believe in revenge like Frank Sinatra. He said the best revenge is massive success. Do what you need to do to get up, to make yourself get up and get going. And I know you just want to get five more minutes of sleep, just five more minutes. And I'm telling you, no. Rise up and aggressively move forward down the path. Get yourself in the game. Shut down all those pathetic excuses and get after it. If you're going to be successful in life, you've got to understand that there's a sense of urgency, that there are only 86,400 seconds in a day. Don't you quit. You do make a difference. You do make a difference. As weak as you are, as tired as you are, as many mistakes as you made, you do make a difference. There is something they would lose if you were not there. There was something that they would miss if you were not there. You do make a difference. In the process of working on your dreams, you are going to incur a lot of disappointment, a lot of failure, a lot of pain, but in the process of doing that, you will discover some things about yourself that you don't know right now.